So when I first became mentally ill, it was a result of a nervous breakdown or what they call a psychotic break. In 2005, I was at university and life just became overwhelming and certain things happened that kind of broke the, the straw that broke the camel's back, as they say. And I started getting incredibly paranoid and, and having delusions and what have you. And that led me to be diagnosed with a mental health disorder and illness, as they say. Um, I was been in and out of psych hospital uh, multiple times, um, um, but life is interesting. The journeys we take are interesting. You know, or obviously, I wish I didn't have a psychotic break and a nervous breakdown, but I'm content with where I am in life and where life is leading. Um, you know, I, I I had a nervous break. I was at university. It was my senior year of university for the first time around. I eventually did get my BA. I was at Binghamton University, SUNY Binghamton, and I uh, just started thinking all sorts of bizarre stuff. And eventually, the cops were called on the university campus, and I was sent to a psych hospital. And yeah, it's not something I'm particularly proud or happy about, but it's you have to accept it, and it's part of my diagnosis and who I am as a person, uh, the, the sort of winding path of life, you know.